we went to about nine or ten cities when I was with him, uh, and uh, we did sixty altogether. You did something like that's that. Quite a that's that's no mean effort. And and my point is, John, that when we were in Oklahoma, for example, I'm a huge NBA fan. I love basketball. I went the, the night before our show. Uh, I went to see an NBA game. Uh, you know, there would have been eight or nine thousand people in this brilliant arena in Oklahoma City. It was a good game. And then the next day, we played the same arena. In Austin, Texas, 10,000 people come to see Jordan. And the reason they come to see him, uh, most people, again, didn't know this. I didn't know this, really. He's not talking about the culture war or politics or anything like that in these shows. He is telling people how to live a good life. Mm. That's what they're coming for. And the, the, ultimately, what it comes down to is take on responsibility, be a responsible citizen, take on things that make your life uh, an adventure and a struggle at once, because you're going to struggle nonetheless, so your life might as well be an adventure while you're struggling. Um, and it's remarkable to see how many people come for that message. And I think in my own life, um, you know, I remember that when I first became aware of many of the things that I talk about, the cultural decline, the slide into, in, towards uh, some very bad ideas that are impractical and not working, I was very, very hesitant, like many people are, to say anything about it in public because uh, I was first and foremost concerned about what would happen to my comedy career and, and, and my friendships and, and whatever. But I've found that the more I take on the responsibility of saying what I think, and trying to do something about it and trying to be part of other groups of people who are doing something about it, the more meaningful my life has become. And the same with having a child. You know, this is something that for all the very reasonable concerns that I explained to you about housing and so on that people have, the one thing that uh, I think we don't talk about enough is to what extent becoming a parent makes you a better person and forces you to become a better person. Um, that's not necessarily the only and the right reason to have children, but it certainly has that effect. And so if we accept, which I think we ought to, that there's a crisis of meaning and purpose, then my encouragement to people would be to look at where historically meaning and purpose can be derived from. And it can be derived from, I think, of making a contribution to your community, to other human beings around you, to connecting with uh, the people with whom you are genuinely connected. Mm -hmm. Not people on your phone, but the people who are actually your family and, and, or, and very close friends. Um, and this is why I think, you know, someone who, who certainly thinks of himself as a liberal in many ways, I think one of the problems we've got is we have conflated the idea of political liberalism which is the idea that you and I should be free of government interference in our lives. We should be able to speak freely. We should be able to associate with those with whom we wish. We should be. Well, free. that's the theory. What it's morphed into, of course, is anything goes. Well, hold on a second. Let's just stay with the political, right? The yeah. political arguments, I think, are pretty legitimate. We yeah. should be able to think freely, yeah. speak freely, research yeah. freely, practice religion or not freely, etc. But what we've done is we have taken that idea of freedom, maximum freedom, and we've now embedded it into personal lives, where it's completely inappropriate. The idea that the path to happiness lies in freeing yourself from the bonds that you have with other people around you is completely absurd. Uh, as any parent knows, the things that bind you and tie you down the most are the ones that give you the most meaning. And I think this is where Jordan's message is so powerful, because what he is reminding people is that Yes, you live in a world where you have got absolute freedom comparatively to history from government interference in your life and so on. But unless you bind yourself to people who matter, to your community, to your country, to your nation, um, you're going to be completely unmoored and deeply, deeply miserable. And I think until more and more people start to hear that message, we will continue down the path that we're on.